Hey there, I'm Natha, and welcome back to our Pokemon Journey Lock, Episode 5. Patrick and I have been making our way through this cave. Uh, last time, the excitement was that we had Frida evolve into a Butterfree, and Nicole evolved into a Nidorina. Uh, so this time, we are going to actually focus on training up um, Sandy, so that way everyone on the team will be at least level 10. I'm also hoping that she will gain a new move, because that would be very, very nice. And we also would like to see Patrick get caught up level-wise with Nicole. That's kind of the hopes and dreams for this episode, uh, along with making it all the way over to Cerulean City. And I'm very happy to say that we now have two Pokemon with double kick, so we can switch Nick in and get him some experience battling with the Geodudes and not always have to rely so much on Nicole. There we go. Hopefully this does decent damage. Nice. Okay, that was a crit. But I'll take it. Still good damage. Um, one more move will finish off this Geodude. So he, of course, got to crit us back, but that happens. But, oh, double crits. Good job, Nick. And Sandy's up to level 9 already. Learn a move, please, Sandy? No. Okay. This is fine. She'll learn a move when she wants to learn a move, I guess. Alright, so we explored the bottom portion of the cave last time. So we're going to double check to make sure there's no items over in this corner, and then we should be able to proceed onwards to battle with Team Rocket. Alright, Patrick. I do want to see him get up to level 16 or 17 today, because we also know that once we get to Cerulean, pretty promptly thereafter we will have our battle with Misty. And Patrick is going to be very important for that battle. He is our only current Pokemon with a type advantage against water types, so... Very, very important that we have him fully trained and ready to go. I think once we get Sandy up to level 10, we probably will swap Patrick into the lead and just let him fly through Zubats. How's that sound, buddy? You like that? Alright, Pika Pika indeed. You know, we probably could have let Sandy deal with a level 6 Pika. I think anything under level 7 we'll let Sandy deal with, so that way she can get the experience. Patrick's up to level 15, that is fantastic. Double team, um... I think we're good without double team. Thank you. Though, honestly, being hit less is kind of nice. I just don't want to, uh... Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. I mean, it is is—it is a very large cave. Look at her, she's adorable. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and... How do we let... We, we, we can let Sandy... Ooh, that's a bad idea. We should not have let Sandy stay in. Stop, stop! Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and switch right out into Frida. This is where Frida earns her keep, I think. Because that's going to do nothing to Frida. Absolutely nothing. And Confusion is going to not be Oddish's friend. Decent damage. Okay. I was hoping it would do a little bit more than that, I will be honest. But I'm not upset with the damage that we're getting from because Frida should be able to two-hit this thing. No, three-hit. That's okay. Frida's trying her best. She does have a level uh, level down from the Oddish, but that's okay. There you go, Frida. Good job. Sandy, yeah, 91 experience. That's nice. And a bell sprout. We'll go ahead and confusion this as well. Nice crit. Good job, Frida. Growth. Yeah, that's less than phenomenal. Hopefully we can take this thing out before it gets too powerful. Oh, we got confused! We got the confusion! Nice! That was lucky. And Frida's up to level 11. Good job, Frida. We have defeated the last. Oh, I lost it. You did, but that's okay. Uh, make sure there's no item over there. No. Onwards! Come on, Patrick. We just gotta make sure we don't miss anything cool. 
Alright, let's go down here. And see what we can find. Apparently we can find a Pokemon. Another Zubat. The surprise of all surprises. Level 8. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch to Patrick. There you go. Patrick is going to definitely get lots of Zubat experience today, aren't you, buddy? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and And should hopefully be the only Pokemon we have to deal with on this floor. Yeah, okay. And now we get to battle another Team Rocket guy. Hi there. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. This is a public space. It's a mountain. So, how about... no? Alright, a Zubat. Level 12. Alright, sounds like a job for Patrick. I really hope that Patrick gets to do... Yes, okay, he didn't use Confusion, so we should be... Should be reasonably set with Patrick doing big things here. Thundershot, Patrick. Yes, nice crit. Thank you for not letting me confuse you. Good job, bud. And Sandy gained some good experience from that. Ekans. Alright, let's go ahead and Thundershock again. See how much this does. Oh, that was a crit. Nice. Oh, rat. I hate rat. It's okay. Um, we just should need one more attack, so as soon as this rat finishes... Uh... Wow, this is a long wrap. There we go. That should finish off the Ekans. Perfect. Good job, Patrick. So you are good. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Let's go ahead and give Patrick a much needed potion. There you go, bud. Almost all better. Grab this. Thank you. TM01. Ooh, another encounter. Well, I guess it's not really an encounter since we don't get to catch it, but another battle, that's for sure. Level 12. I'm gonna go ahead and swap with Patrick. This hopefully will be enough experience for Sandy to get up to level 10 so we can stop switch training and just let Patrick go ahead and do things. Come on, Patrick. Show this Z-Rat what for. Really? It has, like, one HP left. Alright, fine. Quick attack. Finish this off. There we go. Yes, okay, Sandy is up to level 10 now, which is great. And Sandy learned Sand Attack. That's appropriate, but maybe not the damaging move that I was hoping for. We'll go ahead and we're gonna lead with Patrick for the rest of this mountain to get him as much experience as possible. Alright, we've got an Ether. That's very handy. Let's go ahead and head back on upstairs. So we can finish getting through this mountain. That's a Geodude. Patrick does not fight Geodudes. Level 10. I think we're gonna go ahead and swap over to Nick. Uh, Nick's still got a good amount of, of HP, so that should be okay. Tackle. How much is that doing? Doing 6. Alright, let me see how much Double Kick is doing. We might have to switch to Nicole. No, we got this. One more, we'll, we'll take it out. Alright, finish this off, Nick. Does mean, unfortunately, that we will have to rely on Nicole for... Actually, we can just heal Nick up. We'll just give Nick a potion. Nick is deserving of a potion. Um... Yeah, potion, potion, potions? Yes. One potion for Nick. There we go. All better. Now we get to battle this guy. Did you come to explore too? Uh, no, I came to get through to Cerulean, but I'm having fun exploring. Youngster wants to fight. Rattata, okay. Level 10 Rattata. Let's go ahead and Thundershock this thing. That was some good damage. Tail Whip, don't love that. But one more Thundershock should see the end of this Rattata. It does, perfect. And 
another Rattata. Okay. How much is that gonna do? That was a lot. Okay, that was a crit. We did 13 on a crit. It did 12 on a not crit? Like, seriously? Did I do that math right? And a Zubat. Um, I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and potion on Patrick, because, I mean, I'd hate to take him out when there's a Zubat in front of him. Like, a Zubat is totally Patrick's domain here, so. There we go. Get that experience. Thank you. Goodbye. Level 16. Yay, Patrick! I believe... Are we all caught up with uh, Nicole now? Losing stinks. That it does, bud. Alright. Yes, Patrick is now all caught up with Nicole. I'm very excited about that. Let's see here. Are there are items in this giant room? There's a guy. And there is an item. It's up here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that item. And we might want to uh, heal uh, Patrick back up before we proceed too much farther onwards. Because I'm sure there's going to be some challenging battles up ahead that I shouldn't go into at half health. Ooh, a moonstone. Okay, so now we have what we need to evolve either Nick or Nicole. Zubat level 9. Okay. More experience for Patrick. Excellent. I think we will go ahead and heal up before we challenge. I'm assuming that guy down there is a hiker. So we most likely won't end up using Patrick in this battle really anyways. Uh, but just in case... Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. I mean, if I shocked you, it's more likely that Patrick shocked you, but... Hiker wants to fight. Okay, Hiker, what you got? A Geodude. Level 10. Uh, I think that's going to be Nick's domain. Nick is pretty well healed, so it should be okay. I did six. Alright, double kick, Nick. Nice, nice. Alright, one more double kick should take out the Geodude. Worst comes to worst, if we need to, we can switch to Nicole. The more experience I can get Nick, the more he can kind of catch up with her. Double kick. And if we can only let the Geodudes get in one hit, then Nick should be okay to finish this battle. Alright, come on Nick, finish this one off. There we go, excellent. The Geodudes fainted, and Nick's up to level 13. Always good. Onyx. I think we're going to switch to Nicole, just to be on the safe side. I don't know how much harder Onyx may or may not hit than a Geodude. Okay, maybe he hit less, but just not worth losing somebody. Especially when we've got Nicole sitting here, you know, ready to help. Screech, don't love that, but that's okay, because Nicole is going to get you off my screen before you have a chance to use that defense drop. Goodbye, Onyx. Alright, Nicole and Nick each gaining some experience. Whoa, shocked again! Which is shocking because I didn't use my electric type, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, toss a potion to Nick. Oh, am I out of potions? I am out of potions. Okay. That is good to be aware of. So we're just going to lead with Patrick and Nicole for the uh, rest of this. The two of them have got this under control. This Patrick will take care of any of the, uh... That's a Clefairy. Uh... Alright, hopefully we can do a lot of damage with Thundershock. Patrick will take care of any of the, um... Zubats. Nicole will take care of any of the Rock types. And apparently they will share duties for everything else. I really love that this... Clefairy is growling at me given that I'm using... And it missed. Okay. 
That could have been a scary fight. Instead, that's just gonna be a lot of experience for Patrick. Excellent! So many Pokemon in Mount Moon. Alright, level 10 Zubat has appeared. That's no problem for Patrick. There we go! Critical hit! I don't think that was necessary, but I am not upset about it anyways. Hi! Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. Okay, well grown-ups definitely shouldn't pick on little kids. Alright, Rocket wants to fight and he sent out a Rattata. Alright, let's hopefully get this thing off my screen right quick. Good damage, good damage. Tackle, okay. Quick attack, not a fan of that. That did half of my health. One little attack. Uh, okay, please be a Zubat. Thank you. There we go. This is more like it. Zubats. I can battle Zubats. At least like, fine. Not a problem. There we go. Patrick, thank you. There we go. Zubat is taken care of. We have defeated the rocket. Yay! I'm steamed. So, at this point, I'm kind of making the assessment that we should not fight Rattatas with Pikachu for, uh, the time being. Because that Rattata took care of half of Pikachu's health. That's a Clefairy again. Level 11. Uh, Thundershot. Clefairy used Growl, okay. Please just keep growling at me, that is wonderful. You can growl at me all you want. Perfect. Alright, can you finish this off, Patrick? Thank you. And Patrick's up to 17! Yay! Any experience is good experience. So, since we are battling Team Rocket, that does bring me to my question of the day for you guys. And that is, which of the evil teams, if you had to join one, would you join? Uh, so like there's Team Rocket, and there's Team Galactic, and there's uh, Team Yell, I guess technically is sort of an evil team. It serves the role of that in Sun and Moon. Uh, so what other ones? There's Team Plasma. Finish this off, Patrick. Okay, we have survived. Uh, let's go ahead and actually swap Nicole into the front of the party. Because Patrick is not really up for more battles. Which is kind of sad because I really wanted to beat up um, Team Rocket with him, but it just it's not in the cards right now. Level 11 Clefairy versus Nicole. Shouldn't be a problem. So yeah, there's there's a bunch of different teams that have been throughout the different games, like Team Rocket's in the first two. We've got Team Aqua and Team Magma from the Ruby, Sapphire, and Crystal games. Or sorry, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, what am I saying? And so which, which team would you join if you had to join one? Is there a hidden item over here? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. Now we have enough moonstones for Nick and Nicole. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Or battle a wild Pokemon and then battle that guy. Another Clefairy. Okay. Level 9. We are just finding all the Clefairies. They're supposed to be like the rare spawn, aren't they? There we go. Goodbye, Clefairy. Ah. Uh, yeah, I want your, your thoughts on it. Which, which team would you join if you had to, and why? The why, I think, is a very important question when you're considering joining an evil organization. Or, you know, maybe not so evil, but... Maybe slightly more clueless? That's all them. Fossils are both mine. I mean, I really wasn't trying to steal your fossils, dude. I was really just trying to get through this cave. A Grimer. Okay, then. Well, Nicole, how about we use Scratch, I guess? So, scratching a pile of sludge feels a little bit strange. Okay, I will tackle the pile of sludge. 
Eh. Slowly but surely, we'll get rid of this primer. Disable. Okay. And one more tackle should do it. Thank you. That is a lot of experience. Let's go ahead and double kick. Just because it gives us two attacks in one. Should be really good damage wise. I'd really love to be battling this with Patrick, but Patrick has just not not got the strength left after everything else that has happened. I really wish we'd had another potion, but it's okay. We learned our lesson. More potions is better. And the last one is coughing. Actually, having Nicole out against all of the poison types is probably kind of beneficial because she can't get poisoned. So I don't think any of them have used a move that has a chance of poisoning, so I guess that's kind of a move point. Alright, come on, Nicole. There we go. Oh, there we go. See, I knew one of them would use a poison move eventually. Go ahead and scratch just because we can. Seriously. I thought for sure that that little bar moved past the red and be completely gone, but now it's popped back. Alright, and Nicole's up to 18. Patrick, you're no longer in the lead, buddy. We've defeated the super nerd. Okay, I'll share. Alright, um, let's go ahead and take the Helix Fossil, because I do prefer Omanyte to Kabuto. Alright, then this one is mine. I mean, technically they're both yours, dude, but thank you. I mean, they are. I wasn't really trying to steal one of them, but it is what it is. Go ahead and scratch again. Nice damage, okay. Leech Life is going to do more than I want it to, isn't it? And this is going to be a tough battle with Team Rocket here at the end because we will really have a pretty beaten up squad right now. Um, maybe we should switch... Should we switch Frida into the front? I'm going to switch Frida into the front until we get to where the Team Rocket guys are. Actually... Never mind, I should leave Frida in the front because uh, confusion is good against poison. Alright, hi guys, that fossil's Team Rocket. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Alright, here we go. Three Pokemon. Ekans. Level 14. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. Confusion, Frida. Big damage, big damage. Okay, I'll take half. Half is good. You got this. Nice, nice. Poison Sting. Don't love that. It did more than I wanted it to. We're gonna tackle to finish it off. Just to make sure we don't- I mean, I guess we're not gonna run out of confusions. We are almost out of the cave. Um... Do I switch... to... Nicole is the question. Yes, I switched to Nicole. Because I'm not losing Frida right now. Fight. Okay, that was that was decent damage, but... Growl. Okay, you're going to drop my attack stat, but I'm super effective, and I'm hoping I can just do enough to take you out in one hit anyways. Not quite. Okay, this is fine. Scratch. That was a crit. Okay. Okay, Nicole's surviving. Frida's up a level. Uh, we are gonna switch back to Frida, I think. Alright, we're gonna switch back to Frida. Popping use Tackle. Okay, Confusion. We're gonna make it through this cave. Critical hit. Super effective. Coughing became confused. Oh, that might have been luck, but you know what? I will take luck. We have survived. Frida and Nicole gaining experience. Excellent. We've defeated rockets. A brat beat us? I'm not a brat. Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. Okay. So, since we have now defeated Team Rocket and are exiting the cave, I will answer the question I posed to you guys, and if I had to join a team, 
uh, the team that I think I would most likely choose to be a part of would actually be Team Yell. I don't like their name, I don't like the fact that they yell and scream a lot, but really, all they're doing is supporting their girl, their friend, you know? They're from her hometown, and they just want to see her succeed. And so I can't really... I can't really see a problem with that. Yes, but th what they're doing is annoying. But their heart's in the right place. Um, so that, that's why I would pick Team Yell. But if we had to choose an actual organization, uh, they, I would probably go with, with Team Plasma. Uh, because they really are trying, like, their motto says that they're trying to liberate Pokemon, and that seems like a reasonable goal. Uh, their, their ways of doing it are super twisted, but that's why they're an evil organization, so. Our Pokemon are fighting fit. And I will say, this is my favorite Pokemon Center in the game, because its color scheme is blue and blue. I love this town. Let's go ahead and visit the Pokemart, and buy some more potions. I guess we probably should pick up some more Pokeballs soon. Um, let's go ahead, we'll buy, I think, five more Pokeballs. And let's pick up, I think we should be able to get five more potions as well. There we go. We have survived Mount Moon. And we have a new encounter now. So I'm super excited about that. So let's go ahead and get our new encounter over here. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and actually lead with Patrick because he can paralyze whatever our encounter ends up being. Let's go ahead and do that. And our new encounter is going to be a Mankey. Okay. Level 9. Let's go ahead and Thunder Wave it. And then I think we maybe... Can do you think we can quick attack it without knocking it out? Maybe we should switch to somebody else and quick attack it. Um... I think let's switch to Nick, and we can have Nick, uh, scratch it. Or, yeah, scratch. Or tackle. I'm not picky. We'll go ahead and tackle. And that should put it pretty far... Oh, nope, not quite into the yellow. I don't know if we can attack it again without knocking it out, so let's go ahead and just chuck a Pokeball and hope that it stays. Alright, so we have caught a Mankey to add to the team. Excellent. Uh, I think we are going to name this Mankey Mikey. I feel like that's a fitting name for him. Go ahead and name him. And he'll get sent to the box, but we'll have him on standby in case we need him. And I think we'll also go ahead and plan on doing just a little bit of um, switch training. Up, or not even switch training, but just training training for Patrick in this grass. Because I think there's supposed to be a good number of birds. And with the uh, battles from the, the mountain... I think getting a little bit more experience is going to be very important before we go and proceed because soon we have a battle with Gary. And I definitely want to make sure that Patrick is all set for that because we need him for the battle with Misty. So I'm hoping we can get maybe up to level 18. We weren't really too far level-wise. We probably, probably are safe level-wise. But I just am a little bit, you know, apprehensive. I want to make sure we get to, you know, keep the Pokemon that are on our team right now. We'll let Nick deal with the Sand True. And we also do get to get more Pokemon on the team next time when we go past Nugget Bridge. So next episode we will head up Nugget Bridge and get a whole slew of new encounters, I think. I am very excited to see what we can find up there. Excellent. We're gonna try and get Patrick to think one more level and then we will wrap up for today. There's a bird! It's a Spiro! Hi, Spiro! Alright, Patrick, you know what to do. I think you got this under control. Excellent. Huh. 
Alright, I think maybe we can also just check and see how far Patrick is from leveling up, but I'm, I feel like he's gotta be really close. Alright, there's another level 9 Mankey, that's okay. Good training for Patrick anyways. Oh, and you crit him, good job, buddy. Let's go ahead and check and see how much more experience Patrick does need. Uh, 455, okay. That should be probably five more battles. So we'll do five more quick little battles over here. And then we will head back to town, get everyone healed up. And next episode, I think we'll kick it off with uh, Battling Gary, which is always an exciting way to start things off. Our squad is overall pretty balanced in terms of levels. I'm very pleased with how everyone is doing. But I'm really also just hoping that we can get Patrick up to a high enough level where Misty isn't a problem, because in all of Misty's gym, it's really going to be very heavily leaning on this little guy here. Alright. Nick, I was really hoping you could take that sand true out, but one more, one more should do it. There you go, bud. Alright. Gaining more experience. Always good to have, you know, plenty of experience. I do not love Rattatas. That one that that Team Rocket guy had kind of scares me. The fact that it did that much damage to Pikachu that fast. I guess I can't say anything. Dang, Pikachu. Show that Rattata what, what for. You got this. Really good experience for him, too. Look at him in the grass. I love Pikachu following us. So amazing. Alright. Level 10 Rattata. Alright. Quick attack. Ouch. We got this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and quick attack back. Just to make sure that it doesn't get a chance to double attack. There we go. Come on, Patrick. Just another couple battles, buddy, and then we can go take a rest. Another Rattata. Where? I thought this route was supposed to have a decent number of, uh, Spearow on it. Maybe that was Route 3? But either way, Patrick's still getting good experience, so we will take it, and we will roll with it. Nice crit. Alright, I think this next Pokémon should be what we need for Patrick to level up. And it's a Pidgey, or Spearow, Spearow, which is perfect. Alright, Patrick, you know what to do. You know just what to do with this one, right? Alright. No, it wasn't enough to evolve. Or not evolve, but level up. Apparently my math is off somewhere. Alright, but this Mankey will be. Level 9. Patrick's got this completely under control. There you go. Low kick. That's fine. Awesome. The crit was, I think, unnecessary. But we now have a level 18 Pikachu on the team, which is fantastic. And I think there's one more little bonus thing that we can do at the start of next episode that I am very excited about. I'm hoping we can do it at least. We'll have to see. But we will find out next time how we do against Geary, and potentially how we do against Misty, even. We'll have to see if we can get all the way through uh, routes, I believe, 24 and 25 up there. Or 23 and 24? It's 24 and something that are north of Cerulean, so we'll get those routes all cleared out, and hopefully get to battle Misty next time. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm the Epta, and this is Patrick, and we'll catch you next time. Later!